On a clear, moonless night, we behold thousands of shimmering stars above our heads, yet that's merely what our unaided eyes can perceive. When we peer into the galaxy with potent telescopes, billions more come into view. Indeed, the Milky Way galaxy alone is estimated to harbor between 100 to 400 billion stars. Casting our gaze further to neighboring galaxies and beyond, countless more stars reveal themselves. The closest star to us, the Sun, appears colossal, reigning as the largest entity in our solar system, rising and setting each day. However, despite its grandeur, the Sun is merely average-sized compared to the vast cosmos. The universe boasts stars far larger, not just marginally, but astoundingly so. Hence, how immense is the largest star we've observed thus far? How expansively can stars theoretically evolve? And whatever became of you, why Scooty, you're tuned in to Space Facts. If you find our videos captivating, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all uploads. When discussing the largest stars in the known universe, it's important to consider whether we're referring to mass or total volume. Mass indicates the amount of matter within a star, while volume measures the space it occupies. Interestingly, the most massive stars often don't stand out for their sheer size, and the most voluminous stars may contain less matter compared to their physical dimensions. As stars age, they typically lose mass, a process our Sun is currently undergoing. In around 5 billion years, after depleting its nuclear fuel, the Sun will transform into a bloated red giant, potentially engulfing Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth. While this metamorphosis will indeed make our Sun enormous, there are stars in the cosmos that surpass it in size. Let's explore the largest stars based on their sheer physical dimensions. Let's examine the current largest star by mass, named Bat 9998. This star is estimated to be 226 times the mass of the Sun, containing 226 suns worth of matter compressed into one. The origins of its immense mass aren't entirely understood, but it may have formed from the merger of two stars. Scientific models suggest that Bat 99, 98, is only 7.5 million years old, making it exceptionally young compared to the Sun, which is approximately 4.6 billion years old. Additionally, it's shedding mass rapidly since its formation, having already lost the equivalent of 20 suns worth of mass. Due to its high activity, it's predicted to meet its end in a catastrophic event, likely a supernova that could result in the formation of a black hole. However, despite its enormous mass, Bat 99, 98 is not the largest star in terms of physical size. With an estimated radius of 37.5 times that of the Sun, it falls far short of the largest stars in terms of sheer volume. If you search, what is the largest star in the universe, on Google, you'll find numerous websites claiming that UI Scooty holds that title. This red supergiant was considered the largest star by physical size until just a few years ago. Originally measured to be around 1,700 times the size of the Sun, it was later discovered that the distance to UI Scuti had been inaccurately assessed, significantly altering its estimated radius to 775 times the size of the Sun. This revelation bumped it out of the top spot, placing it closer in size to well-known stars like Betelgeuse or Antares, which are still incredibly massive, but not the largest. In fact, UY Scuti currently doesn't even rank in the top 80 largest stars. As for another star once believed to be the largest, Stevenson 2, 18, it was thought to be a red, hypergiant star so vast that if it were placed in our solar system, it would engulf the orbit of Saturn. However, its exact size and characteristics are still under scrutiny. Completing one loop around Stevenson 2, 18, would take almost nine hours, whereas circling the Sun 
would require only 14.5 seconds. Some estimates suggest that Stevenson 2, 18, is around 2,150 times the radius of the Sun. However, according to the stellar evolutionary theory, there might be a theoretical limit to how large stars can grow approximately 1,500 times the radius of the Sun. This could indicate that Stevenson 2, 18, has been overestimated, potentially due to uncertainties in its distance from Earth, which could be off by as much as 50%, similar to UY Scuti. However, there isn't a clear equation that determines the maximum size of a star, as it depends on various factors such as mass, composition, evolutionary history, and the strength of its stellar wind. For potential giant stars like Stevenson 2, 18, their outer atmospheres could theoretically continue to expand and grow without a set limit. However, determining the exact size of a gigantic star is no easy feat. These objects are incredibly vast, thousands to millions of times the volume of the Sun, situated at great distances and emitting intense luminosity. Additionally, they often possess extensive atmospheres and photospheres that continuously change and are frequently obscured by massive clouds of dust, making their true size elusive. Nonetheless, astronomers strive to measure their size using various factors such as distance and the surrounding environment. By collecting these measurements and analyzing them, astronomers can generate estimates that fall within a certain range of confidence. So, what is the current largest star in the known universe, based on our best measurements? According to the list of largest stars known, the current holder of the title for the largest star in the known universe is a red supergiant known as WWG 64. This massive star is situated approximately 160,000 light years away in a neighboring satellite galaxy called the Large Magellanic Cloud. With an estimated radius of 1,540 times that of the Sun, WWG 64 would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter if it were to replace the Sun in our solar system. This measured radius aligns well with the theoretical growth limit for stars and is consistent with many other large red supergiants discovered elsewhere. WG64 is likely in the latter stages of its stellar evolution, having exhausted its nuclear fuel, which has led to the expansion of its outer layers, transforming it into a true cosmic giant. Additionally, this enormous star is surrounded by a torus-shaped cloud of dust, spanning about a light year in diameter, comprised of material it has expelled. Remarkably, it's estimated that if all the material in the Taurus cloud were collected, it would be enough to recreate our entire solar system nine times over. So, is WG64 finally the largest star in the known universe? Based on current measurements and understanding, it holds that prestigious title. Indeed, there have been conflicting measurements of WG64, with some studies suggesting it has a radius of 2,575 times that of the Sun, far exceeding even Stevenson 2, 18's potentially overestimated size. If this measurement is accurate, WG64 would easily engulf Saturn's orbit, and circling it at the speed of light would take almost 10.5 hours compared to just four hours for light from the Sun to reach Pluto. While it's evident that the universe harbors truly enormous stars at various stages of their evolution, determining which one is the overall largest remains unclear. Ongoing advancements in observational techniques and technology will enable astronomers to refine their measurements and better understand these cosmic behemoths. WG64 could indeed be the largest star ever observed in the known universe, but it's likely that the top spot will change again as our understanding evolves. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.